welcome back guys it's your boy deco graphics so if you are looking for very simple and creative birdie flyer i think you need to watch this video let me show you quickly how you can create a very simple and straightforward and catchy birdie flyer on your android smartphone using your pc app what we are going to do is to just go directly to our gallery import the background so i need this background but the image i'm going to place on this i need to edit it i need to just blend it so what do i need to do i'll go to my application pscc which is adobe photoshop touch for the smartphone so i will tap on plus sign then go to photo library so go to the photo library import the image i want to use so i've somehow retouch this image so if i send the one i want you you are going to use to practice might not be like this okay so i did image to look perfect because it's part of the uh, uh, design so after that i will tap on the hand sign at the top here go to the feed hope i'm not somehow rushing then after you are able to do that just move this arrow move it to the top move this one down okay so you move it like this while you scroll this out so when you're able to do that, you position this around here. Don't let it just set. It's perfect like this. So now, now that you're able to achieve that, you can bring this one down a bit as well. Why this one go up a bit? Okay, perfect. Now you can click OK. So once you're able to do that, the next thing you need to do is to tap down, click on save. It's not saving to your gallery, okay? You tap on this forward arrow tap on save on gallery select the kind of format you want tap on the image you want to save and you click ok hope i'm not fast in any way let me slow down a bit so after you're able to do that just minimize and go back to your pc lab you might be wondering why am i using another application because pc lab cannot do the work perfectly when it comes to blending though we can use the razor and blow the upper the lower part but it won't be as clean as this so once you're able to achieve that you can go to your gallery import the image then you can place the image here now placing the image will be the best and you can see how it look so it's look exactly the way as if maybe you blend it you can see it look exactly as if you blend it and that is the our objective that is exactly what we want and when you look at it it seems like you already blend the image together with the background which make it to be cool so once we are able to achieve this then we go back to the text area bring out the elements we actually wanted you see within a few seconds we will be able to do true with this okay so the next thing i'm thinking we should do is that we can just try at least to make all our text and everything to show so by placing some kind of a um, or by reducing the size to this so we shall position this here then after that we make sure that we lock it lock the image as well so you can go to this particular sticker you can see tap on empty space then give it a color give it a black color we are using it to cover some part of the area here so we can give it a black color anyway depends on what we want so what we are going to do is that use a relative position to centralize it copy we are going to copy as much as possible to make it darker and make it fading so i'm copy and replacing then i will go and merge everything together now the three so after merging it together i can use it to cover the part of the area which i actually wanted for this to be showing effectively so now you can see what i want it to achieve it already achieved it so now i will go back to i will go back to this place i will go back to this place to make sure that this is actually working again by position this around here after position it i will send it to the back and as you can see everything seems to be working so i will send this so what my purpose of doing that is to make sure that this happy birthday are actually showing and obvious very well now that i'm done i've done with that then the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure that i lock the two so that it will not touching or shaking from where i place it then the next thing is to put in the right or happy birthday not a bear so we shall look at this place then position the norabel around here then we look at the beta phone that can actually manage and function at the particular area so the next thing i'm going to do is to look at for 
I'm thinking of using Josephine font, the bold one, and see how it work. Okay, because of the taller, all the text is normally tall, so I don't need to use that. I'm thinking of Achivo. Achivo could do the best after reduction should be able to properly serve the purpose around you so i use achievo okay so you can see and it's cool together with it very cool so after you are able to achieve that you can reposition it back perfectly now we need to put the date okay so i have this particular effort which i'm going to position around here i will go to the color change the color to something that will be able to make it obvious okay so i will position it like that make it very obvious around this place as you can see so once i'm able to position that there i will lock it as well then go to the text area so i'm thinking of using the same archival font so go to the text area i will just put may let me put the may first so once i put may position it around there so the point of question now is which kind of color am i going to use here so the perfect color i can use on top of that will be black okay i need a deep something so and the may have to be bold as well so i have to go and use leak pattern leak pattern leak pattern font that one is cool whenever i'm used looking for a bold font i normally go with that not that kind tall and not that kind small so the next thing i put is the date 23rd 23rd me 24th sorry 24th so after putting the 24th i will reduce the size make sure that it aligns properly to this okay and everything seems to be cool it's noticeable after that what else am i going to do you can discover that everything seems to be scattered you need to go to auto recover save click on the first one to see whether it will turn it has scattered again go to auto recover click on the second one to see now you see everything is back but what's lost is our present action so we need to retype it that is uh, me need to just redo the recent actions that is what that me then you reposition so sometimes we still have lagging like that you don't need to stress yourself and be out or you should be worried like uh, i've lost my work how will i do it you can rearrange the work like that but what uh what really matter is we still have normally save the previous work if you are working on it presently so you won't lose it so you need to be very careful and know how to use that so once it's scattered like that you continue to go and be saving it upright canna and me from the top so that as you are doing the design as i'm designing a pcla be saving my work you understand so pcla will be saving it keeping in the memory until when you close the whole work and close the application that is when even when you close the application you still have a retentive memory that when you open the application it depends on how you shut down the application it will still remind you if you want to view the previous work so after this has been done then the next thing we need to do to um put in the name put in everything we just need to put a kind of uh, um we put a kind of a no, a note or write up so i'm going there putting this right up your bed is the first day of another tree. be the shiny thread in the beauty the spirit of the world to make this year the best year enjoy your ride so i don't need this i just need be the shiny blah 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 okay so i need to just put this so the question is where am i going to put this to make work so don't worry i have solution because you need to manage the space very well so that it will not to be it will not be too busy one is too busy you forfeit the whole thing okay so you done you don't need to leave more space as well so what i'm going to do is to tap on this tap on rabbit the image i shift it up a bit so once i shift it up a bit i will shift these two shadows a little bit together okay now the next thing i'm going to do is um, um what i'm going to do is bringing this now 
I'm going to position it here. Then use my align to the center. Oh, we use the old stuff. Maybe it could be work. Maybe it can work. So let's look at it this way. So when you look at it, everything seems to be perfect. Everything seems to be perfect. So therefore, we can match everything together. Shift it at once to the tab. Okay, and as you can see, everything seems to be cool. So another thing I'm still thinking is cut out this happy bit, happy of a thing using my mask. Okay, that is one thing I want to do using my mask to cut out this happy. It's giving me headache. So after cutting it out, it's no longer there. Then I will copy the same object, go to the mask again and tap out. Now I have it separate. So I will increase it very well, then go to the color. Remember, it's just a template which we borrow. Yes, we borrow it. So just to use it. So when you increase it and you reposition, so it will be able to show out, be able to be obvious very well because the way it was styling, not really give us exactly what we actually wanted, and it's not placing properly. So as it is now, you can see categorically that. It's obvious and it's shining and this is just a simple trick on how you can just come up with a baby flyer on your Android smartphone using your PC lab under 15 minutes. Okay, if not because of explanation in less than 10 minutes, you should be able to come up with something beautiful like this. You can increase the text to make sure that uh, it's readable. That is the essence of visual identity. Then go to the go to the relative position position it perfectly you can put other things there to make it work more better but this is just simple this is presentable and this is wow so once you make something like this at least it will go a long way in the mind of the celebrant thanks for watching guys i believe one learned something from here god bless you don't forget to share comment likes and stay the kind of video you want next God bless you. See you in the next video.